so today I'm just going to be going over a detailed build breakdown of the E39. Um, I get some people asking uh, what I did to it. How do you drift an E39? Da da da. It's so big. Why do you drift a boat? La 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 la. That whole chestnut. So um, I'm just going to give you a pretty detailed um, breakdown here. So I'm going to start with pretty much the first thing I had to do was get the car in working order because when I got it it was pretty much a trash car. Uh, the whole front end was ruined pretty much because it was in a front end collision. Uh, there was no frame damage or anything like that. But the front subframe was broken. Um, the wheel, the locking wheel lugs were uh, like destroyed. So I had to drill out three wheel locks which really sucked because well, I'm gonna grab a light. If you look in here, you can't really get anything around there. The wheel locks were all the way to the outside edge. They were those weird ones with the squigglies inside of them or whatever. So yeah, um, once that was um, pretty much in working order, first thing I did was suspension because um, if you want to drift with this much weight, you got to have some stiff suspension. So, if you look down in here, you got the Megan's, like 36 way adjustable, I believe. Got the adjustable damping and ow. Pretty stiff. I don't know what the spring rate is, um, which I probably should know, but I don't. It looks like there's actually a rubber. Might be something in there that's sort of messed up, it looks like, actually. I should probably check that out. But, uh, yeah, so that was, that was the first thing I did. And then, uh, second thing I did was get the body straightened up, um, I'll insert some photos right now. Um, there, as you can see, there was uh, this fender was just a white fender when it came on it. The hood was just like a garbage hood with uh, oh, like black uh, okay, let's go. primer. This black primer. This fender was also black primer, and then the front bumper was just uh, like a dark, like a dark gray plastic crap. Excuse me. So I got that. There's actually a company online that sells fenders for this car and you just give them your paint code and they paint it and then send it out. So I went with that. It was called PaintedAutomotiveParts.com. It's actually a really good deal. Um, matches pretty good. You can see a little bit of a difference. It's like a little bit darker, but it does the job. And then I got the VIS Racing carbon fiber hood with the bulge, or they call it like a GT something. But yeah, this hood is awesome. I love it. Um, I also I got rid of all the ABS right here. There used to be an ABS box module, and I cut that out and then just put this T in, and the T is the only thing only thing I have in there now so that cut some weight out too it was huge too it was ugly it was big right here um, headers they used to be shiny not so much anymore uh, I just got those up eBay and then custom exhaust all the way back of course um, I got rid of all the 
traction control stuff like this butterfly here was all flappy in there so I got rid of that took the butterfly off I didn't want to mess with this so I just left this on but yeah that freed up a lot of this room too uh, HGAS Superflow I relocated the coolant overflow tank to that side um, this is leaking oil looks pretty gross but whatever the car's got like this motor got 250,000 miles on it so I don't expect too much out of it really runs great though um, got rid of the clutch fan put in this Mishimoto uh, this tubes out of, like a suburban or something they said uh, what else what else um, I have 30 millimeter uh, H&R spacers hub centric on the front uh, for track width and helping with my scrub radius so that actually helped a lot um, it didn't have any like the re-steer nothing like that I had to really fight the car when I was trying to get it to drift alright let's check some interior safety bits here so Momo hub vertex wheel that I love Adam LZ signed it. You guys saw that. Let's see. This is a K-Sport dual master hydro brake that I made into a single master hydro because I didn't need duals because I don't have dual calipers. So I like this one anyways. It's all like bronze, gold looking. It's really tough. Works really good. Um, AKG short shift says for E46, I don't know, it's not an E46, um, this is all gutted and nice, this is the hydro brake line up in here, Oop. got those block off plates, uh, before there were just big huge holes, I'll insert a photo, but uh, yeah, and then I got these Corbo, uh, they're the Forzas. I went with the mismatch look because no one really does that. I wanted to be a little different. So I got that, and then I have freeway retractable harness belts. A lot of people go with harness bars across, and then they get the actual harnesses. But um, with the harness bar, it's really actually unsafe. A lot of people run them not really thinking about it. But uh, if you roll your car and you have a harness bar and you can't move forward because it's just stiff and you're just sitting straight up and the roof caves in on your head and you have nowhere to go and it just collapses your spine and you die. So if you have a harness bar, probably not the best idea, but whatever they look sort of neat stiffen up your chassis a little bit um, motors factory nothing fancy but yeah these actually still retract but if you want to they're tight and Corbo makes them so you know they're gonna be safe they're all up to date got the Corbo I went with the dual locking slider car is extremely, extremely gutted. Um, this is actually my exhaust back here, ran through the car. Um, probably was the greatest idea I had. It looks awesome, it sounds cool. It's huge, loud. People get a kick out of it. Or they just laugh at it. Either way, I don't really care. Uh, these are the hydro brake lines. Run it back, splitting the two into the floor, out. These are all thick rubber, so they're not. Ew, grasshopper in my car, make it go away. Eh. Um, zip ties. 
yeah, you know, that whole chestnut. Um, more gutty stuff. Let's see, what else did I do? The White Sky Drift Banner, which is awesome. Um, I, I mentioned it in the indoor drift video, but I have the 346 differential out of the automatic 528. And, um, that's all welded to shit. That was great. That's the best thing I've done to this car by far. If I didn't have that 346 differential in it, it definitely wouldn't slide at all. It would just probably bog out and not do anything. Because it's got like 190 horsepower, or maybe 200 at best now with the stuff that I've done to it. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. That's all you need to do is slide an E39. I mean, a lot of people go with E36s. It's probably a little bit smarter because you can get wide angle kits and stuff like that. Like wide angle kits don't exist for E39s. I don't know if anyone ever watches this that makes angle kits and wants to make money. No one on the market anywhere makes angle kits for E39 whatsoever. So if I want to get more steering angle, I have to get them custom made or convince a company to start making them, which I have emailed some people like SLR. Um, I think they, the owner of SLR, um, emailed me back and said something about them working on an E39 kit. I don't know if he's just saying that or what, but if that does happen, that'd be awesome because I'd buy that right away. Yeah, that's the majority of what I've done. Ooh, yeah, hold on. I got the mono wiper. Yeah. I just, this used to have a wiper, I cut it. It's all shiny. Um, yeah, other than that, I just went through, replaced pretty much everything I could. All the suspension components are new. About it, really. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. I had a video of a huge burnout that I did in my driveway that was like 300 feet long, and I just accidentally deleted it. I was really pissed off. I actually made this video already once, but I deleted it. So yeah, I had to do it again. Oh yeah, check this out. I cocked my sunroof on and put these bolts. I thought that was funny. I cocked pretty well though, so it doesn't leak or anything on me. It sort of looks cool. I don't know if you can see it. Like a light comes through. But yeah, anyways. Uh... If you liked the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe, or die. Um, if you want to leave me a comment, tell how rice out my BMW is, that would be great. Uh, rice for life. I don't want a BMW that doesn't look like this. I don't know what everyone else is doing. I'm making them look all luxurious. But, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching White Sky Drift. We love you, and until next time, bye! Bye!